What's up everyone? In this video today, I want to talk to you a little bit about tips for actually helping out and coaching new shooters. So this is coming at it from a little bit different angle than the type of video I usually make in terms of actually talking about the shooter. Today I want to talk to the coach and tell you a little bit about how you can help newer shooters, some problem areas they might be facing, and overall just how to help them make a transition into becoming a much better shooter over a shorter period of time than it might take if they were on their own. We'll see you in a second. Alright, so we're transitioning to the end of an ATA year. It's already August, the grand's going on right now it's getting ready to be wrapping up here before much longer and before you know it september will be rolling around and that means the start of a new ata season so i feel like this is a time where a lot of people are maybe starting to shoot the youth programs are going to be starting up in the late to early winter so maybe some of the new shooters are going to be going out there to try it for the first time maybe some really young kids are getting their first guns and stuff and I want to talk to those of you that maybe have the opportunity to help out new shooters and, and stay tuned if you are an actual shooter because I think that you'll benefit from this information of me telling a coach or someone that is in a position to help a new shooter I think you'll benefit from the information that I'm going to give here so the first thing that I want to give you to help a new shooter out is to simply have them focus on gun fit first. So this is something that came up, a good point that Woody brought up in my 100th video whenever we did a Q&A is that gun fit really is a key component of shooting. And that is so true guys, I mean gun fit is huge. So if you can help a new shooter learn how to fit their gun and really fit it to them and work through them on that process, then that's going to be a huge benefit to them because they're not going to have to deal with the cheek slap issues, the recoil issues, the gun going into their shoulder wrong. That's going to be a huge, huge benefit to them. The second point that I want to bring up is to keep everything simple. So, you know, I remember when I was first starting out that it was very difficult for me to wrap my head around everything. You know, it felt like everything was going fast or I was on the line. And even though I was having a ton of fun and really working hard at it, sometimes it was difficult to grasp everything that was going on. So if you can keep things simple, really try to break down, you know, don't, don't overestimate what somebody knows. So for example, they may not know what the pocket of their shoulder is, how to put it into the gun. They may not know how to keep their head on the gun. They may not know how to look at the target the right way. So if you can talk about these simple things, these basics of the game, I mean, my goodness, even myself sometimes, I still go over them. I've been shooting for, for several years now, you know, and I know some of the older shooters, they'll go back over them because they've been, and they've been shooting for, you know, 40 plus years. So it's important for all of us to go over these things, but whenever you're really new, it becomes really vital to understand the wrap your mind around all of these concepts because they're so key to the game. You know, I remember when I first started shooting that my shoulder was literally black and blue whenever I got through because I didn't know where to put the gun at on my shoulder to protect it. So talking about these key things in a simple way is going to help the new shooter to understand, hey, this is what I need to be doing here. This is how I can help myself. And they're going to be able to overcome a lot of obstacles and avoid a lot of challenges that maybe some other new shooters are going to have to go through that don't have that benefit of somebody giving them advice, somebody giving them and direct giving them the time, directly inputting the time into them to coach them. The third thing I want to talk about that you can do to help a new shooter is to simply have them mount the gun over and over and over and over and over again. So if somebody comes to me, they're a new shooter, and they're saying, hey Jared, I'm struggling a little bit. What what are some of the first things I can do to help me out? The very first thing, the very first thing I'm going to tell them to do is to mount their gun a minimum of 50 times a day. So, I, you know, I, I remember doing this whenever I first started, and it's all about that muscle memory, making sure that you're getting that gun into the same spot. So I remember whenever I was part of the youth program, some of the shooters that would break maybe 10 out of 25, um, I would tell them to do this, and they would go up to like breaking 18 to 20 out of 25, just like that, just by mounting their gun more consistently, because they were getting it into the same spot every time, and they became more familiar. The muscle memory 
help them because you know if your gun is constantly so you know on a new shooter I remember I was new I mounted up and on my bicep I mounted on my collarbone I mounted on my shoulder I mounted on the right spot so all that iffiness really does come into play there and it can harm you and the last thing that I want to talk about today so this is not an all-inclusive list because I guess it'd be pretty tough to get everything you could put a new tell a new shooter into one video but the last thing I want to talk about is shooting the right shells so I see a lot of new shooters, they go out there and one of the mistakes that they'll make is they'll shoot a, re a recoil on a shell that is just too high velocity. So they're out there shooting 1200 feet per second, 1250 feet per second. Sometimes I've seen guys even shoot like 1350 feet per second and they're just shooting 16 yard singles. I mean there, there's no reason to shoot that kind of recoil on 16 yard singles. You know they need to be shooting at 1145, 1165 maximum really recoil shell and that, that is a huge deal to tell a new shooter that so that they can understand that hey you know there's no reason for me to go out there to wear my shoulder out because a lot of times they just don't know I mean I remember whenever I first started shooting I didn't know what shell to do you know I, I just went out there and grabbed whatever was the cheapest at, at Walmart and, and just shot it you know and, and I'm not against Walmart shells or anything or cheap shells but I am all a big proponent of making sure you're shooting the right velocity, especially if you're dealing with a young 12-year-old, 13-year-old youth shooter. You want to make sure they're protecting their shoulder because you, know, you want them to be able to enjoy shooting throughout their whole life. If it's something that they truly love and, and want to do that long, you want them to be able to enjoy it, physically have that ability for um, as long as they want to do that. So these are some thoughts of mine on if you're a coach or someone in a position to help a new shooter. These are some things that you can tell them. Maybe you're a new shooter watching this video. If this so, either way, I hope this helps you out. If you're a coach or you're a new shooter, I hope you benefit from these tips that I've given you. These are things that, you know, I remember looking back on it and I think these are some things that I would have benefited from somebody telling me whenever I was first starting shooting. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. You can, you can subscribe to my channel here. You can also check out a couple more videos here. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.